Very nice. Bye. Nice seeing you. Bye. Hey, you're probably going to be uh, crowded by a lot of people downstairs, so be careful. I am not. Well, they think you're the Zodiac Killer. <gasps> the, 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 the Zodiac. He does look a little like he the Zodiac does. Killer. When he sat down, I said, you know, there's the Zodiac Killer. Anyway. All right, take care. Young MC, everybody. The great Young MC. Oh, the, the, the Zodiac. So come by and, uh, and uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you want. All right. All right, take care, man. Plug me on there. Whatever you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, okay. Zodiac Killer is a punk. Oh, oh ooh, well, going out on a limb? We'll agree with you there. <laughs> ooh. Oh, no, look who's here. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, babe, babe, oh, babe. The Zodiac what? Jew, Gilbert no, Gottfried. Like, Gilbert Gottfried's here. Like, He's Mexican families aren't, like, starving in the streets. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. yeah you can <laughs> sit there and make jokes. <laughs> Bells yeah. is here. Yeah, like, if Euro-Chinese families aren't, like, dying of AIDS, yeah, sure, right, sure. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Sit there, like, this whole Reagan administration. You know, we're about to do a story, Bell. Oh, about right. um, this terrible um, uh, case, jogger trial. the jogger trial. But is that wrong to do? I think it's wrong because man. is that like a racial it's, thing? It's like a racial thing. It's like 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 making the bad thing that they're racist. You know, it's like what should we really be wrong. talking about in the news? Is I right? think we should be talking about the whole imperialist government. <laughs> <America has. laughs> yeah. It's like the government. It's like how the FBI is spreading AIDS through the United States. Let's talk about that, okay, Howard? <laughs> okay. Is what the Pope doing, Gilbert? Is, <laughs> is the Pope babe, the world's babe, babe, is the Pope babe, the world's babe. biggest <laughs> drug dealer? Yeah. He's like the world's biggest drug dealer. You know? mm. And it's like, mm. it's like the Bush, the Bush administration is in with it. <laughs> 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 He's like, in with oh, that man. whole Bush administration. Oh, right, Gil, thanks for the cute impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Gil. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, All right. Young now. MC Gilbert Godfrey. I'm shaking hands with Negro people. Oh, yeah. what is that? He's a racist, Young. You don't want to be. shaking hands with Negro. Let's get a picture of that. Yeah, let's get that. <laughs> wait, let's, oh, wait, let's hear the two hands slapping together. It'll sure. be like... <laughs> That's uh, Nick Knack from the Superboy series. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick Knack. All right, listen, let's get back to the Is news. Is that Come Dwayne? On. Stick with us on the news. No, Come on. it's not Dwayne. He thinks all black people look like... Did you think... Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. Did you think uh, that was Dwayne Wayne? Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Wayne That's Wayne. young MC. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Who's that? It's an old TV show. You wouldn't oh, know about sorry. that, Buzz. You read the newspaper too much. <laughs> Buzz doesn't know hi, hi, hi. No. It's bad Dwayne. Uh, Richard, you like dice, don't you? Yeah, I like dice. Yeah. Buzz is anti-dice? No, he likes dice. dice yeah, like, un- like dice is like like it's a whole dictatorship. <laughs> because like, like, like this, I, I, I don't find it comedy. I find it like more of a dictatorship. You know what I mean? Right. But, babe, I mean, it's like I think it's dangerous. I think it's dangerous all around. What do you really think about uh, dice? I, I think uh, I don't think he's a comedian. I don't think he's funny. I think he's an unconscionable <laughs> swine who really? caters to the lowest of humanity. Wow. Oh. I think that he panders to the worst instincts in people. Tell a connection us, between us. the Reagan administration. Yeah. Okay. He did this on Geraldo. He did. <laughs> yeah. He made what a connection you guys between. <laughs> You know what? You should get, I talk about you on the Geraldo show. <laughs> he, made a, he made a connection about Dice and, and, the, Reagan and, and the Reagan administration. Go well, ahead, Richard. Where's the connection? Dice yeah. Clay is hired by the Reagan administration <laughs> oh, to stop. poison the youth of America. Did everyone laugh when he did it? No, no, he was doing it. It's all part of this whole Reagan mentality. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Peter, this whole thing. The Reagan oh, mentality. The Reagan mentality. <laughs> babe. Oh, babe. Belter, Belter as Laurie. Oh, yeah. You know, it's the whole conspiracy to ruin the minds of our youth. They do the dirty talking and talk about ethnic groups and us against them. I'm sorry. All right, now let's get back to the news. Come on. Where's the Maltese Falcon, babe? <laughs> All right. I'm really going to try this with Gilbert here. Well, yeah, yeah, come on, come on. I really well, want to hear the news. Good. Gilbert's yeah. going to be good. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. All right. I'll what, be good. What are we going to do? We'll basically, be good. Basically, what they're doing in the jogger trial, of course, Howard, is establishing that there were several attacks in the park on that particular evening that the jogger was raped. But what I found interesting in the paper today, Amy Pagnosi's column in the Post, yeah. she talks about a group of blacks who sit in the courtroom... And uh, smirk and make noises as these people testify. Jesus. Yesterday there was a man on the stand who, they broke a piece of wood over his head. And he talks about the fact that he still has some residual effects as a result of these injuries he sustained in the park. And they started making noises like, yeah, sure, right. Oh, my God. Me. I was... <laughs> <laughs> you know, they hissed 
the man because he said he still has some problems as a result of being beaten in the Why park. would any person have an interest in seeing these guys go free? Well, they, you know, she tried to uh, interview one woman who was sitting with this group, and she's just suspicious of the whole white media. Oh, I see. And yeah. just has decided that this is a railroading attempt. Nothing really happened. No, just, can't, may just, I, the society is doomed. Oh, poor may young I make a the society is doomed. Can I make a comment? All right, Bells, okay. go ahead. And this is, ties in with the Marion Barry thing. Too. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. now, there seems to be uh, this uh, cavalier, patronizing avid attitude towards people who support Barry and, and, and like are heckling these witnesses at this trial. Mm -hmm. Now, these people can't all be summarily dismissed. What their actions are kind of unfathomable, I would think, and repugnant. But what? <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> right. Yeah. Let me hear you get out of this. Yeah. Right. You, you think they are reflective of how much people distrust. The powers that be, the media. Can I ask you something? When Hulk so Hogan dropped you on your head, oh, when I Hulk Hogan, good segue, good segue. When Hulk Hogan dropped you on your head, I think something. It was happened. wrong, right? <laughs> when Hulk Hogan dropped you on your head, <laughs> was it wrong? Was it wrong? Come on, let's get back to the story. If your wife was jogging in Central uh, Park and, was, <laughs> and was, no, seriously, and was raped by five I'm not youths, saying that it's okay. what are you talking? So about? what are you saying? You make these. What are you idiotic, saying? You're making an idiotic logic. statement. I'm saying that if, How can somebody, you defend any of these actions? I'm not defending it. I'm explaining it. Whoa. Excuse me. He's defending I think, him. I, I think you were on the right it. track, Howard, when you said when Hulk Hogan dropped him on his head. No. Something has hap happened oh, to Belzer yeah. at that maybe point. He has, maybe he's being <laughs> contacted by Mars and controlled by them. <laughs> I think so. I think that he has some residual He effect. has residual injuries. <laughs> I mean, he turned into Belzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have Alzheimer's disease. I'm sorry. Belzilla is attacking it. Tokyo. That's but it. Professor, what can we do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, babe. Yeah, uh -huh. sure. Yeah, babe. What is it, Gary? In the middle of the news. Would this be an inopportune time to tell you that Amy Lynn's calling from a payphone? She was, she was actually she was looking for Marvin, but she just missed him. Really? Oh, too Gar bad. That would have been an interesting call. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on. With yes, this. let's go on. Because still over in the news, and you know, it's very easy to attack the joggers. I mean, it's very easy to attack a group of racists in the park. You know, a group of rapists. You know, and uh, I think I think we're being a little. Over what is Belzer's point? Would you explain to me what Belzer's uh, point I was? Explain to you my point. I would like to know. I'm curious. I'm trying to. If you listen to me. All right, go ahead. Okay. okay. The yeah. people that are supporting Mary and Barry, you say they're all... What did you say about them before, that they're all... They're great? morons? All right, okay. <laughs> they're not morons. Up? Right. They're not morons. They just distrust the society so much that they can't believe that this Well, tell them to get with the program. Well, maybe they... Maybe he wasn't the using drugs. Yeah, he was okay. trying to lose yeah, weight, right. okay? Yeah, yeah. It's so difficult <laughs> to get with the program. Start a business. Oh, come on. That's it. Get Great. with it, Belzer. Come on, you elitist. Get with sign. it. Get lost. Get with it. Get lost. Hard Man, work. Go to the bank. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Mar Mar the Marion Barry. Oh. Marion Barry was not using drugs. He was trying to lose weight. It was like a whole all right, all right. dietary pill he was taking there. A dietary pill? <laughs> it's very easy. It's very easy to look at a black mayor and say that he's using drugs. It's a whole racist society. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's go on to Why something that we can all okay. agree all right. on. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'd like to see you find that topic. Mandela? Okay, I pretty think we all agree. All what? right. Well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mandela. He continues his trek across the country, Howard. Yesterday. And I just want to meet Madonna. He spent a short <laughs> I want to meet Robert De Niro and Madonna. <laughs> That's the whole reason I got out of prison, so that I can meet these big-time celebrities. I wonder if Scott Bale is going to oh be in New York. <laughs> anyway, yeah. he spent a short time in Miami yesterday because that is not the most friendly well, place for him. Jackie Gleason still alive. Oh, I've been in prison all the time. I don't think he met any celebrities Will in Miami. Come on, Nelson. <laughs> I want to meet... I want to meet the June Taylor dancer. Ah. Man, them white women look good. Oh, dear. <laughs> remember that that's Gilbert, Gilbert Godfrey. Right, Gilbert Godfrey. Is right. Frank Fontaine around? Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, let me just say that he had a oh, difficult Mr. time there. He wasn't greeted <laughs> by many city officials or, you know, governors and so forth because there are a lot of Cubans in oh, Miami, yeah? and they don't appreciate yeah, him very much. Well, the Cubans are wrong. It's very easy to pick up the Cubans are wrong, Howard. Yeah, let me say something. Yeah. You know, the Cubans, Dave, the Dave. Cubans cannot. You know, Mandela man is uh, a man who is being, you know, well, maybe tortured, and Castro. and his people are being tortured, and and he has to embrace. He has to embrace Satan if he has to to free his people. Uh, so I see nothing wrong. Uh -huh. No, I see nothing wrong. I see nothing wrong with Mandela embracing. So anyway, Castro. he didn't spend a lot of time there. He rushed right away from there and went to Detroit. Right. 
Where, where the U-Nerds where say. Where yeah. That's right. You mean Detroit, Africa. <laughs> yes. And he, you know, again, uh, received a very, an overwhelmingly positive greeting and was met by the officials of the, the state and the city in Detroit. He also said that while he was in prison for those 27 years, some of the things that helped him keep his spirits up were... Uh, was that, running uh, away from the other prisoners who was in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, the music from uh, Motor, yeah, Motor I would never City? Make a oh, yeah? Excuse like that, me, yeah. and he even quoted one of the songs oh. that he used to listen to. <laughs> what was one of the songs? The pot song. <laughs> All right, here we go. What was one of the songs? Well, knows? if you listen, you'll... Here we go! Count! Brother! Brother! There's far too many of you dying! Now, what song is that? Marvin Gaye. All right! Everybody gets a call. Yeah. Marvin Gaye. I thought he was going to do Masturbation is Just All Right with Me. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no. A little sexual healing, maybe. Sexual healing. You know. Come on, come on, sexual healing. Sexual healing, healing. <laughs> you know, in the Madison Square Garden, he said, Today, 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 I consider myself, self, self, the luckiest, luckiest, luckiest person, person, person <laughs> in the world, 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 except, 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 except for Joe, 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 Piscopo, po, 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 po. <laughs> That was Nelson Mandela at Yankee Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. No, right. right. That's that's no, a real nice no, thing to no, say, man. Really nice. Man like, spends 27 years in, his, in that jail. That was Gilbert. That yeah, was Gilbert. Right, right, right. Yeah, okay, good, good. Make a, make a hope, mockery yeah, of a man's I life. I hope that some of Nelson Mandela's dignity and forbearance rubs oh. off on the American civil rights movement. Right. That's oh, all. oh. That's, oh. all. That's all I can say. I yeah, right. I don't like the way the black people act. This is very easy. Okay. Like, no, I didn't pick on a group of on a mob in Central Park and say that they're bad somehow. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 You know, and by the way, let me just say something, oh, if I may, boy. okay, babe? Oh, you know, <laughs> Joe you Piscopo is not here to defend himself, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Bill, yeah, real yeah. nice, Bill. <laughs> oh, Gilbert did that. You know, yeah. Right. You know, it's okay <laughs> to pick on... on um, Gilbert. Right. Gilbert. 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 It's okay yeah. to pick on yeah. Joe, def poor defenseless Joe Piscopo, but if he was a black man, he wouldn't say that. Yeah, because just because Joe Piscopo is black, you feel like you have the right to pick on him. Right. All right. Well, Nelson Mandela continues his journey today. He's due in Los Angeles, where we'll have another one of those. A three-picture deal, deal, deal. <laughs> Star-studded <laughs> party at the um, fundraiser tonight. They expect people like Jane Fonda, mm. Tom Hayden. Jane Fonda and her new breasts. Yes, mm. she'll be bringing those along. Ooh, I like her. them new breasts oh, you got there, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Ali will be there. Mike Tyson again. Mike Tyson. Danny Glover. Alfred Woodard. Alfred e. Newman. Newman. Alfred e. Newman. <laughs> I always Lou enjoy Gossett your comedy. Jr. Billy Dee Williams. <laughs> right. Will Nick Knack of Melody Superboy be there? <laughs> How about Bill Don Cosby? Johnson. Bill Cosby, Spike Lee, Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Quincy no? Jones is arranging all of Shirley this. Hample. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she'll be Hample, there. Shirley Hample. Charlie and over Hample. the weekend, Mandela will be in Oakland, California. Will uh, Florida be at that? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who? Who? Esther Roll, Florida. The maid. No, the maid on Mars. Yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, let's it's move along here, get Florida. through this news. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the kid who was accused of killing his parents I'll... because they made him drive an old car and nothing I got off. 41? I got off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they found him guilty yesterday. Oh, right. Yeah. Was, oh. was he white or black? Yeah. He was yeah. a white kid. Oh. Yeah, but he was a white guy who sympathized with black causes. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole Reagan administration is going to, like, try to attack him and try to find him guilty. So now they're going to say that killing his parents is wrong somehow. Right, right, right. He was sentenced well, to drive an old Volkswagen, I understand. He hasn't been sentenced yet. He uh -huh. could get 25 years to life, though. That hurts. Right. 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 And at 18, that would get him out Can of jail at a pretty advanced now? age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Babe, 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 babe. I need a noose. I know. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Anyway, so uh, Martin Tancliffe, the 18-year-old adopted son yes. of Arlene and Seymour. You adopted. You're not born to us. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. He has been found guilty. You chopped your heads off, right? Of killing his parents. No, he oh, didn't chop so their what? heads off. What's wrong with, um, a little you know, chopping? Oh. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, like, a bad like, thing. it's a bad thing to kill your parents. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, like parents yeah. have every right in this like, world to live. Don't make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Like, like parents have never 
ever like abused like blacks yeah, right. and uh, <laughs> Asian children. Right, yeah, sure. right. <laughs> like the whole adoption system isn't corrupt, man. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Meanwhile, remember <laughs> Peter <laughs> Bedford? That's not part of the Reagan yeah. administration. Remember <laughs> Peter Bedford? <laughs> yes. He yes. was a young man who was arrested for running down the street one day, slashing several different people across oh, the so face with a razor, yeah, including sure. Vivica Lindfors, the actress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like everyone doesn't have bad days. Yeah, yeah sure. Right. Well, sure, like you can have, like have a, a razor. Spasm and, and a razor just happened to be in his hand. And his he plea like... bargained the charges down, and so if he's a good a boy <laughs> and doesn't do anything shaving wrong. without a license, that's why he pleaded guilty. Right. Yeah. And he, if he doesn't do anything wrong for the next year and stays in school, he may not have to do any jail. Well, I'm going to run down the street Thank and God. Slash, slash actresses in the face and see if I get off. Yeah. yeah. Careless pruning, man. You know, does that say anything about American justice, Bell? Yeah, Bell's what a about young it? white man, he yeah. gets off. Right. A white man. White man, white man, running <laughs> so fast. <laughs> you know, if he was black, he would have done 25 years yeah, in prison. That's right. Okay? If he was right. Mexican, he would have done twice as long. That's bam, right. Bam, bam, right. Bam, right. Bam. But there's a pecking yeah. order, right? Yeah. If he was from the planet XO, <laughs> he would have been a lot of trouble. Also, right. the state legislators have moved against dwarf tossing and dwarf bowling. Oh, and right. oh come on. I guess you're out of work, Gil. <laughs> yeah. But you know... Out! Oh! oh. Gil out of a job. Nobody be <laughs> tossing him <laughs> around anymore. Ah. Let me go! Let me go! Oh! Boom! <laughs> hey! 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 Let me go! What are you, a homo? Hey, what are you, a dwarf homo? <laughs> they announced an agreement yesterday on a bill that would ban dwarf tossing and hey, dwarf Hey, hey, lay down! Help! <laughs> hey, hey, what is it? Help! Believe me, if it pays, Gilbert's in. I'm telling you. In bars and other businesses. Hey, do I get lunch, Alex? <laughs> Help! No dwarf tossing? Why? Why is that? They say... a free t-shirt? Whoa! Why shouldn't you be allowed to toss, toss a dwarf? They say... The Jew punching contest. The Jew punching contest. <laughs> Whoa! Ow! Oh! 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 Ow! Ow! Oh! 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 Is it my lunch break yet? Ow! Oh, man. Okay. They say it's demeaning to all dwarves. So it's demeaning to all Jews. Why can't you, why can't you toss a dwarf? Because it demeans the community. But what if a dwarf wants to be tossed? That's, that's what I say. Most dwarfs are black. <laughs> are you, am I right? Most dwarves are black. Oh, no, I see. You know, <laughs> most blacks. Most dwarfs. Uh, There's enough discrimination. I you know, the Pope. <laughs> yeah, the Pope. Babe, babe, <laughs> babe, babe, babe. And, and of course, dwarf. finally, they had the daytime Emmys yesterday. Yeah. Oh, good. And Susan Lucci. They was tossed her. Turned for the She's 11th the worst time actor. in a row. The fact that she gets nominated discredits the whole procedure. She's and the so worst they actress. asked her how they she felt about it. They were tossing dwarfs at her. These guys are incredible. <laughs> they threw a dwarf at Susan Lucci. I guess I tend to laugh about it. I really, I've always felt oh, that I'm so lucky to be playing Erica Kane. And, and I, I mean this, as I, I hope it doesn't sound too Pollyanna, but I really do feel that the work is its own reward. <laughs> I love doing what I do. That's what Gilbert says. I have been presented with such great material. I'm such a lucky it's actor. Its own and win or lose, <laughs> I can come back to that studio and play Erica Kane for oh, all she's thank worth. God, man. You know, it, it, it's... And, of course, Joan Rivers was a big yeah, winner. Yeah, I've never is. gotten an award for knick-knack, but... Here's the best one. Two years ago, I couldn't get a job. Nah. <laughs> I could not get a job. My income dropped mm -hmm. to one-sixteenth of what it was before. Yeah, it was only $3 million. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people said I wouldn't work again. And my oh. husband, as you know, had a breakdown. It's oh, so sad oh. he's not here because it was my husband, Edgar Rosenberg, who always said... Who ruined your career. <laughs> ruined your career. And except for one terrible moment... Yeah. In a hotel in Philadelphia, where he forgot that. He was a jinx. This is really him because he was with me from the beginning. <gasps> oh, there you have it. You know, That's I'm tired what's happening, of these folks. Celebrities washing their mental laundry in public. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm with you on that, pal. Yeah, now, give me a break. You bet. She you made bet. eight million dollars, and she had a <laughs> slow period where she only made four hundred thousand a month. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, you know, oh, oh, you know, oh. Oh, 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 my husband, oh, 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 Gilbert Gottfried once again, ladies and gentlemen. Mimic non perial. Can we mope? What's the deal? I mean, Edgar kind of drove her career into the ground, didn't he? Yeah, it was a short drive, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll tell you that. Why cry about that? I killed him. He didn't kill himself. Edgar's done. None of that, Gilbert. None of that. I'm not a big fan of You guys are so insensitive.
sensitive. I just oh, cannot yeah. believe All I know is Edgar I dies and she gets an Emmy. Eh, eh, eh. So, <laughs> no, no. Maybe that, it was good for her. move. Right. I've been trying to convince her of that. Yo, what are you doing Gave tomorrow? her a lot of sympathy. Uh, tomorrow night doing a lot of writing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. Tomorrow night, Lone Star Cafe, Richard. Caroline, 16, 17, and 18. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Darien Dinner Theater on the 23rd. Darien Dinner Theater? Darien Dinner Theater. It's like <laughs> Darien Dinner Theater? Uh, yes, Darian. I'm going to be on a Darien oh, Dinner Darian. Theater. Oh, Darien. A Darien. Connecticut? <laughs> yes. Good. <laughs> the Aryan <laughs> Dinner Theater. Dirt land, dirt land. What? I can tell you what he's saying. What is he saying? We'll play it back. What do you know, German? Get tickets early. <laughs> Get tickets early. <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> Order now. Look at now for Ticketron. <laughs> All right, the Lone Star with Bells. When is tomorrow that? Night. Tomorrow night. And, of course, Gilbert, the 16th, 17th, and 18th at Caroline's. Okay. And Darien. The Arian. The Arian. Dinner theater. Dachau Dinner Theater. And Darien. <laughs> That's right. Yes. All right. So come tomorrow yeah. night and visit me. Yeah, I wish I could. <laughs> oh, Gilbert. <laughs> we'll be back right after this, Robin. <laughs> Oh, what is this? What is it? Yeah, it's real easy to get through a commercial. With these guys? Yeah. Ooh. Real easy to get through this stuff. Oh, man. You guys are funny, but hard to control. You know, there's a certain point where it has to stop. Yeah, right. you got to know when to turn it off. Yeah. You're not on stage now. Yeah. This is, different. This is broadcasting. <laughs> He didn't do that to Alan Thick, You know, Gilbert, never interrupted no. Alan Thick. Uh, you know, well, Gilbert's going to be here. And, uh, <laughs> Gilbert's uh, up in the kit. Well, he's bothering me up in the kit. Well, I think you knew that. I hope he comes down. He's a crazy Gilbert, guy. Gilbert, what happened? Like some producer turned to you and said, oh, we're going to have you in this catwalk thing. It was like like they kept changing it from show to show on Alan Thick. First it would be up in the catwalk. Then, uh, you know, all of you are monks. Uh, all of you come in from the audience. Yeah. Uh, Gilbert, you're back in the catwalk tonight. <laughs> and Richard, for a while, they had you as, like, his partner. No, I wasn't his partner. You were his partner. Okay, I was his partner. Uh, <laughs> he, he was like Arsenio Hall with sunglasses. Arsenio Hall was his second partner. Right. Right. He, uh, followed Belzer into yeah, that. I guess thing. Bells couldn't help out Alan, like yeah. someone could help him. And then Arsenio <laughs> was brought in. Hey, uh, Richard, you going up in the catwalk this week? Belzer's here. That's always fun. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We'll do some improvisation. <laughs> and uh, then we'll uh, do some rock and roll. Gilbert and used to be in the catwalk. Now he's just in the catwalk. <laughs> Gilbert and, and Alan Thicke were very close. Very close. Yeah. They were lovers. Yes. No, they <laughs> became very good friends. Really? The show. Yes. Seriously? Yes. We were uh, friends for many, many years. Gilbert had him over to see the lawn chair. Oh, oh. I'm so sad about Alan Thicke's career. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. You are right, sir. You know, I couldn't get a job. I, I could not get a job. My income dropped to one sixteenth of what it was before I was five. Costello. And people said I wouldn't work. And my husband, you know, had a breakdown. It's, it's so sad that he's not here because oh, yeah. it was my husband, Edgar Rosenberg, who always said, you can turn things around yeah, like and accept one year at moment. In a hotel in Philadelphia. He, <laughs> he was there with a <laughs> <Omega. laughs> <laughs> man. From the beginning, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, after 14 faceless, my career got going again. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's that crying? <laughs> it's Fred over in the corner there, no. big baby. All right, anyway, public storage. Come on, let's get into it. Public storage? This is fun. Yeah, yeah, this, this is fun. This, yeah, is, where, this, uh, this fun. is the fun part of the this show, Robin. Don't keep Edgar, right? <laughs> this is oh, oh, that's nice, Bell. Yeah, hey, right. Gilbert, that was yeah. really funny. Nice going, Gilbert. Uh, nice, Gilbert. You know, Gilbert really steps over the line. Yeah. 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 Anyway, listen. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Uh, I apologize for Gilbert. Anyway, let's say you move to a new condo. Well, look at Bell. Bell is leaving his uh, Los Angeles condominium for his castle Beverly Hills, Bell. in France. Yeah, good investment. Uh, good investment, Bell. Where's he going to put his American furniture? When you move to uh, France, yeah, yeah, what? Is your wife still in France? What are you a cop? <laughs> <laughs> what are you with immigration, babe? Or? No, seriously, is your wife still in France? Just do the spot, man. What's the big deal? Do the spot. <laughs> I mean, you complain about me and Gilbert being out of control, then you go to a spot and you start right, working. public store. Yeah, when I ask you a question... Uh, you can talk. Now, what's, some the interest. Question? what's the question? Is your wife in France setting no. up your house? No. She'll be going back in the fall. Belzer's wife convinced him to buy this stupid house in France that he'll never use. <laughs> and all his 300000 of his Hulk Hogan money, bought the stupid house, which... 
<laughs> the They're Hogan, not going to get the that back. Arms, we call it. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you take that money and put it in a good investment? That stuff never goes up. French real estate. Where's it? Thanks on? for your concern, Howard. <laughs> Aren't you a little nervous? I'm not nervous at all, man. You don't care. I don't care. That's true. If I, I don't like the frogs. I never liked the frogs. Well, the French are good friends to the Jews, so you'll feel safe there. Uh. <laughs> His wife's not Jewish, so she's safe. She yeah, she's safe care. there. He'll get killed. She'll have the house. Right. Wait a minute. There's a conspiracy here. Yeah. See, it's the whole Reagan thing. Yeah. The whole Reagan thing. Yeah. See, sure. Reagan and Hitler had she a moved to France. Very few people. Who were you? Jerry Lewis. Mm. Why may? No, I. My career's over. Public storage is so no, good. I. Hey, what is this public storage? It's a group of homos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dice. Uh, yeah. Huh. Public storage. Oh. <laughs> 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 public. Oh, oh Bells is upset. You can't even imitate. He wants to hear yeah, about public because you know. I want to hear public stories. I shouldn't do dice. This dice is all part of the Reagan administration. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see that program. That's Me too. Ju July 11th. July 11th. I talk about Howard Stern. Do you? You say yeah. something nice? Huge plug. Thanks. Huge plug. So I ask. July 11th. Also, Ford Fairlane opens up. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> and July 12th, it it'll be on video cassette. But you know, so, ooh, why were all the comics so hostile to her? Uh, don't, don't. Let's not get into You know, this let's argument. not get into it because you know, spot. Do the spot. you know, Bell can talk about everything yeah. but yeah. Dice Clay. Yeah. yeah. I talk about him on Bell's national television. Upset. National television, Bell. <laughs> Go. Hmm. Well, you didn't Public understand storage. us at one time, and you used to say bad things about us. Yeah. So how do you well, know that you're right? What are you, an right? Aunt Tom now? Are you going to no, apologize no, no, no. for Dice no, I'm not apologizing for anything. Oh, I'm just saying, please. do you think you Robin. might be wrong about Andrew Dice Clay? I, I see. I may have been wrong about Hitler, too. <laughs> Did you say some bad stuff about us, and then you changed your mind? I just said a little thing about you, Howard. <laughs> Something about Hitler and me? Yeah, that you and Reagan and Hitler were friends. <laughs> played cards. We played dreidel stuff. together. It's all part of the Bush administration. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Bell's is still in the Reagan administration. Reagan's out. Now I he's, know. He's oh, like, never going like to forgive Reagan. Like the effect Reagan. of Reagan's not going to... Bill over into the third millennium. I, I thought I said that. You know what I mean? Uh, the Reagan effect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Reagan effect. I could keep my mouth shut. No, and just no, let no, yeah, make a mockery of the whole uh, thing. Wait, you'll sing. You'll see what will like happen. Like the water stopped being polluted no. when he left off. Right. Yeah. 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 Like the SNL fixed himself when he left. Yeah. Like the toxic waste cleaned itself up when he left. Yeah. 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 Like the Reagan, all those dead people from those plane crashes when he fired all the air drivers. They're going to come back to life. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now listen to me. Gilbert jump started bells and I can't stop him. Oh, I know. Public storage. If you dial 1-844-STORE right now. You don't like They're not storing toxic waste. <laughs> <laughs> if you rent right now. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, Gilbert keeps his uh, sexual memoirs in public storage. Okay, public storage. Yeah, right. There's a joke that went yeah. nowhere, yeah. babe. Yeah, right, yeah, right. right. Like, that's important. <laughs> Small businesses use it, uh, store inventory, anything you want. It's computer access, oh, yeah. resident manager on site. <laughs> rent now, and a dollar pays you your first, a dollar pays your first month's rent. All right. Okay. Your staff listen to the show in the other room. <laughs> the offer expires July 1st. <laughs> Mention that you heard it on the Howard Stern show. You don't have much time left to get in on this offer, I'm just realizing. Sorry, right. Buy first. 1-844-STORE-ROBIN is the uh, number you can call right now for public storage. Sorry, Canada. What is this? Legends. 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 Legend. There are very few legends left in the world today, but... Well, Howard Sturd's one of them. But you could have Howard visit your home. Was Geraldo totally annoyed with Gilbert um, when they did that Actually, show? Actually, Gilbert was brilliant on the show. Was brilliant. He didn't answer one question. Right. <laughs> but he answered every question. He I can see Geraldo there. getting totally annoyed. He totally with... buried uh, Geraldo. Really? Geraldo started asking him a question, and Gilbert did like 20 minutes on the question. <laughs> no, 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 didn't no. answer it. Then Geraldo right. would try to repeat the question. Yeah. Like, that would help. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you should get a tape of it. It's, it's a great, interesting show. Yeah, I'm going to see Lots that. Lots of comment on it. I'm watching Donahue today to see Tula the Transsexual. Yes, definitely. She's cute. I mean, he's cute. Tula. Well, who knows? Tula the Transsexual? Yeah. The Hello one. there, Tula. <laughs> well, that's Beulah the Transsexual. Wait a minute, what do you mean she's transsexual? I used to go out with Tula. You serious? What? Yeah, right. 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 You serious? <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> I grabbed her organ and she started to scream. I knew she wasn't a woman in the year. Legend Volkswagen. Legend. Let me tell you something about. Uh, Richard Simmons was saying he drove a Jeep Eagle. A Jeep Eagle. And uh, a Jeep Eagle. 
I got to tell you something, There's Robin. There's nothing thing as a Jeep Eagle. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Which I know. I drive a Jeep. I don't know. Jeep Eagle, whatever. Eagle is a car. Eagle. Oh, Eagle's the car? Yeah. So so now that Wayne Siegel has legend Volkswagen Jeep Eagle. Yes, yes sir. That means he has Jeeps and Eagle cars? Right. Oh. Jeep Eagle. <laughs> Who knew that? <laughs> what am I, Geraldo? What am I, Geraldo? <laughs> what, Geraldo? What are you, a homo? Huh? Boy, <laughs> Hey, Geraldo. Oh, there you are, homo. Please do you not know who do we're doing? dice in Belzer's presence. Yeah, Richard, you know who we're doing? <laughs> no, I don't want to know. <laughs> hey, Geraldo. Uh, what, did you guys have, like, a three-hour discussion on Geraldo about dice play or something? No, 30 seconds. No, what? no, Geraldo asked them about it. Geraldo dice asked play. me every week to come on there. He wanted to be on this show with the guys. Yes. And they called up and said, well, Kinnison's going to do it, so you have to go on. Like, what, am I married to Kinnison? What, are you a tag team? What, what am, am I, I a homo? <laughs> Please. So I declined to be on. Yes. Uh, but uh, I didn't even know the topic. What was the topic? Comedy. Comedy? Non-topic. Non-topic. But then, then they showed a clip from Ford Fairlane with me, and then Blah! Richard, then, then Richard you know went into his whole speech. You know, Richard, in all fairness okay. to Hitler. And what does Richard say? No. In all fairness Gil to Hitler. Gil Gilbert was much better in the scene than the other actor he did it with. I see. Gilbert's clip was very good. That, that was the part I. That was the part I was Geraldo. supposed to have. But really? I, I huh? gave it to Gilbert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you have some scruples and Gilbert has none. Right. Oh. Yeah. Well, Gilbert does everything though. He yeah, does. He He's a whore. Well, he no, I, I looked at the script for Nick Knack and Superboy and thought it was a good script and a story that had to be told. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Legend announces the grand opening of Legend Jeep Eagle at the Legend Volkswagen showroom. That's yeah. right. It's very Legend... easy to make fun of Jeep Eagles. Can I say something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know that a lot oh. of the sponsors I don't have personal contact with, but I really do have personal contact with Legend. Yeah. yeah I go to Legend Porsche yeah. and Legend Jeep yeah. Eagle, yeah. and I have service right. done on my car. My Wait, Jeep. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Wayne yeah. called me. They have a new Jeep package yeah, thing there that you put on your Jeep. You put all that metal and chrome and stuff. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all I've got to say is I wish you would wi yeah. mention Michael Siegel. Don't yeah. mention Wayne anymore. <laughs> Michael Siegel <laughs> called um, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I love it. Hold on, Gary. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Are you for a Jeep? A Jeep? Why about a Jeep? Why about a Jeep? That's Gary. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, legend announces. Yeah. Listen, so oh. Gary gets a call. Michael Siegel is upset that Wayne. <laughs> Okay, listen to me. Legend Volkswagen Jeep Eagle, 5775 Merrick Road, Massapequa. All I'm telling you is if you want a Porsche, if you want an Audi, you want a Saab, you want a Jeep Eagle, you want a Volkswagen, you want a... Uh... Sterling. <laughs> Sterling is the one you forgot. Sterling. Peugeot. Anything you want. Hey, what are you, a Peugeot? Hey, what is that? Oh! Oh, hey, what is that, a Peugeot? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God in heaven. Hickory dickory Peugeot. Oh, oh. Oh, hey. All right, you two. Why do you a uh, homo, oh, no. Belzer? Uh, <laughs> sometimes I wish I was. <laughs> you must have, you still have sex with your wife every night? No, she lives in France most so of the time. Gilbert's not married. I'm talking to Gilbert. I'm talking to you. Do I have sex with Belzer's wife? Yes. Ooh. Did that answer your question? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, then. Legend Volkswagen Jeep Eagle 50. Mm -hmm. So when you go to bed at night, Gilbert's, Gilbert's in bed with you there. and your wife? Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, Belzer, get out of the way. Oh, <laughs> hey, Belzer. Oh, what are you? What are you, a homo? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good writing. Oh, boy. Belzer is so hostile. Oh, he hates it. <laughs> Him and George Carlin. Yeah. I don't like brown shirt comedy. I'm sorry. Brown what is shirt? The big, I don't see that. It's not well, you know, he's in that whole comic relief clique. What yeah. Clique? What oh, yeah, Robin. I'll be at the they Aryan all, dinner. They they are all Robin anti -dice. Williams. Yes. The anti dice. Yes. The anti dice yes. bells are yes. click. You two are just beyond belief. <laughs> what is wrong with it? What does he say that's. So, seriously, what does he say that's no, so Nazi like? I don't even want to give it any time, okay? So what does he say? Finish your spot. And after the show's over, I'll tell you about it. Okay. Both of you. Is He's Sam Nazi? Huh? Is Sam a Nazi? No, Sam's a good guy. And why is Be why because is Dice? Sam's a comedian, Dice is not. Uh, see, Sam's funny, Dice is not. The <laughs> whole rap is that Sam has the mind of a comedian. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's the that's the yeah. proper thing to say. Right. The mind of and a comedian. I don't understand you on this, Bells. Well, let's talk about it after the show. I don't want to give any time to it. Okay? No. All right. All right. All right, yeah, homo. Yeah, homo. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed, oh. supposed to talk about that on the air. How, how is talking about oral favors, brown shirt humor? 
What? Speaking of brown shirt humor, I'll be at the Aryan Dinner Theater. At <laughs> the Aryan Dinner Theater. Anyway, legend is where I go to have service done on my car. Hey, do them. service here, okay? Oh! That's humor. Like, that's funny. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, right, right. The man is not a comedian, babe. Bang, yeah. bang. You see, Sam is a comedian. Dice is a... Um, what is, is Dice? And then what is nobody it? tells us what he is. A performance artist, babe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's really Laurie Anderson doing a character. Has anybody figured that out yet? Hi, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was Laurie. Andrew Yam Clay. <laughs> All right. Legend Volkswagen Jeep Eagle, 5775 Merrick Road, and also 158 Merrick Road in Amityville. This is where Amityville. we go. This is where we go. Yeah. Can we talk here for a while, Fred, or... Oh, can we talk? I guess we can because Fred Freddie's not the there. Oh, good. Fred's out of the business. Two years ago, I couldn't get a job in this business. I could not get a job. My income dropped to one sixteenth of what it was before. What is one sixteenth of five million? And people really? said I wouldn't work again. And my husband, as you know, had <laughs> great guys. It's so sad that he's not here because it was my husband, Edgar Rosenberg, who always said knows better than you can turn like things, things around and accept for one terrible moment. Robin, what's one sixteenth of five million? I didn't bring my calculator. Out. And then I caught Edgar in bed with Mick Jagger ah. <laughs> and David Bowie. <laughs> Oh, do you think, oh, come on. Do you think this was really a surprise or had she worked on this speech? Because she does say the 1 16th line. Yeah, she does that a little too. I guess she knew her income by heart. Figure yeah. out what is one sixteen. It was right. one sixteen of, of my million. income, and then I did a right. pilot, which what got I a good share, is, but still well, didn't. I will take one sixteenth of a million and then multiply it by five. That's how I plan to get to this. Now, if okay. you do one that over sixteen, one over sixteen is to. All right, you invert eight hundred thousand dollars, isn't it? No, Sorry. no, you're wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Okay. Really? 500. Well, let me think now. One sixteenth equals, if you take a million and invert it, you have to invert it. Uh -huh. No, you take the 16 and invert it. So it's 16 over 1 equals 1 million. Times 1 million. All right. 16 over 1 equals 1. How many zeros in a million? So. Gonna get Six. There. You ought to know that better than I do. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get dropped in my head. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. You, you only got three hundred thousand. You only got three hundred thousand. There's only. So you're saying that uh, one times a million is a million. <laughs> what is and uh, sixteen times one is sixteen. Nobody, nobody can figure this out. Sixteen Maybe goes into sixteen goes into. Would you give me a chance? I'll get to it. It's taken twenty minutes, man. <laughs> bam, bam. You make twelve million shows a year. Don't you have the question, system in the country. Why am I an accountant? Why am I an accountant? Oh! All right, I got it. Here's your answer. Three hundred ten million. Well, I just figured it out. <laughs> I did my gazintas. Boy, yeah, that was good. <laughs> How much is it? Three hundred and ten thousand. Three hundred ten thousand dollars. You could live on that. I guess you could. Yeah. Not if you have a three million dollar nut. She's right. not exactly a beggar. <laughs> we got to take another break. I hope so. <laughs> Babe, let me just say that the bells will be at the Lone Star tomorrow night, and the Godfrey. Yeah, the Godfrey bag <laughs> will be at the um, Caroline's. The Caroline's at the seaport, 16th, 17th, and 18th of July. Yeah, then he goes into his real Gilbert voice. And then, the and then, of course, it's the uh, Aryan Dinner Theater. Ah. Aryan Dinner Theater in Darien, Connecticut. Yeah. Is that in the yeah, round, right. babe? People yeah. are going to be eating roasted Oh, you know what else is going to be happening in July? They'll open Fort Fairlane. Oh. <laughs> no. oh. July, 12th, July 12th, video cassette. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Gilbert said it was testing very well. Babe. Yeah, yeah. Right. They gave it a blue book. I went out to Hollywood, so I used terms like that. Well, it tests very well. Yeah. The cards are reading real good. Yeah, it's testing. Aren't they mad at you for slamming the movie, Gilbert? No, the producers no. are mad. I, I Didn't they call you up and say? I went up to the mansion. <laughs> yeah, I went, up, I went up to the mansion. Yeah, with Joel Silver. Yes, and we, what they say? We talked about it. And we everything's got a long okay talk. now. We'll be back right after these right. words. Yeah. yeah. Hi, we're back. What is this? Help. <laughs> Best, Best help. help. Okay. It's you know, very easy to attack help. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen you know, the to me. Reagan administration. Best is health, all gourmet natural health. soda. Ooh, this is good stuff. And best health, all natural gourmet soda. What does gourmet mean to you? Let's go around the room. Expensive, Gilbert, what does gourmet expensive, mean to you? Expensive, 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 expensive. Well, expensive. well, you know, I'll tell you what it means. It means that they try it out on Mexican families. They poison them. This whole gourmet soda companies try it out on minority what are you doing, families. Peter Laurie? <laughs> 
Charles, what does gourmet mean to you, sir? Answer it, sir. It means a fine product that might cost a little bit more than uh, because why? Because mediocre product. Because, because it's a better product. Now, better let me product. tell you something. There are 11 in flavors. In house in France oh, because my wife wants Gilbert to. is relentless. <laughs> he can't stop himself. He can't have conversations. He's stream of consciousness. Yeah. Hours. You know he wrote on the mirror in the bathroom, please stop me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> in lipstick. <laughs> yeah. I may, joke, I may joke again. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever got laid, he'd be mute. Oh, now, no. wait a minute. Yeah. Now, hold on. I got a lot to say. <laughs> you know what's funny about Gilbert? If you bring a beautiful woman, like in a bikini, in the room, uh -huh. then all of a sudden it's like... Uh -huh. it quiet? Yeah, he doesn't want to be seen as a clown. Uh -huh. The tears of a clown. Everybody loves a clown. <laughs> Best Health All Natural Gourmet Soda made yeah. with New York water at the Brooklyn Bottling Plant. Now, let me tell you about New that. New York water? I wouldn't brag about that. <laughs> <laughs> New York water is rated among the finest. Oh, yeah? Babe. On what planet? Well, numero uno. Numero uno. Ask someone about it. Okay, Why don't you read the Washington Post, man? Or maybe the New York right Times instead of those stupid bozo papers like the, you know, the Daily News. I read you know, the Washington Post. We know that. You know, well, open it up and see the front page oh, story. Oh, right. Front page New story. York Warner. They, they Look. Don't talk about how Barry drinks New York families. Water at trial. Every batch is hand mixed and created with a special blend of flavors. This is not just ordinary it. soda. This is the most. First of all, the bottle is beautiful. The oh. caps are beautiful. They're matching. Let me, let me stroke that bottle. Hey, nice caps, honey. Oh. <laughs> Pineapple, orange, ginger ale, root beer, chocolate, vanilla cream, clear iced tea, black cherry, raspberry, two simple plain seltzer. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peach, lemon lime. Gourmet. Hey, nice speech. Whoa! Charles, <laughs> you better learn how to play along with these plugs a little better. Where, where, are, you, where are you working? Where are you working tomorrow oh, night? I'm working. Nice so plug. Yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> then you love best health, I'm right? I'm looking at the gourmet. You love best it's health. It's my favorite drink. You right, know that. that's better. All right, Lone Star Road. I love Best Health. Best Health's all natural gourmet Can I soda. Say one thing. Yes. They put it in my dressing room whenever I work anywhere. It's in my rider. Best uh, health drinks in my dressing room. Hey, ride this. Oh! I'm back to, at the Lone Star tomorrow night. Best health in my dressing room. Very good. We'll be back right after you. If you're going car shopping and you... I want to just—I want you guys to hear something. Okay. Just listen to this, so you'll learn something. Dang it! There's a car dealer. Uh oh. Yeah. Hmm. There's a car dealer on the mountain. I just gotta. <laughs> I just gotta find the right tape, okay? Lone huh? Star Cafe tomorrow night, Richard right. Feldman. Caroline, 16, 17, and 18. Nah, 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 nah. They can fill that <laughs> void, Howard. That's what I'm right. trying to tell you. If I take a breath. Yeah. Lone Star tomorrow night. We have such Caroline, 16, 17, and 18. We have such great conversations during the commercials. Everyone takes their time, and everyone just talks slowly. And then we get on the air, and everyone's just yeah, hustling right, right. for the mic. Lone Star tomorrow night. Yeah. Right. It's, it's like Caroline, a race. 16, Who can get the first joke out? And yeah. Caroline, 16, July. 17. Take a bunch of old... Uh, it's like Henny Youngman, Sandy Barron, and Joey Adams all sitting around. tap dancers, you know, get into a circle, and they cut out. Oh, this is other. what's going on in here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's like a comedy yeah. shootout. Yeah. It's like the Sunshine Boys from Hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, listen. Well, we're giving, you, we're plugging each other now. I know, and if you could just listen, yeah. it would right, help so much. Hey, what are you plugging each other? Oh! What are you? Hey, what are you guys Stop plugging it. each other? Oh! <laughs> All right. so what are you, a homo? You want to plug each other? Oh! There's a car dealer that I'd like to talk about, Andy Photos, over at Hackensack. What is he, a photo? <laughs> Hackensack Ford Mazda. <laughs> now, here's a tape of him talking. In fact, I went over and I said, uh, Andy. Yes? You're a car dealer. I've no reason we can't have an intelligent conversation. I don't believe that all car dealers are stupid. Uh -oh. I would like to talk to you about this whole Mayor Barry thing. He said, talk. Well, listen to what Andy Photos said, and I thought it was pretty relevant. Go. Okay. okay. The reason I'm out here this afternoon is we're doing a... Dance. Oh, they don't think they gave me the wrong tape. Okay, thank you. Another joke killed. The reason I'm out here this afternoon is... Uh, uh, I want to kill myself. The reason I'm out here this afternoon is because we've been some trouble with our family. We want to start with that. No, no, sir. So here's the tape. This is Andy Photos talking about Mayor Barry. Okay. Yeah. The whole Mayor Barry this situation. Is not too much of a yeah. Okay, here it is. Here's Andy Photos. Uh, uh, right about now is a time that all Americans uh, uh, are pressed to a position where they should look at this thing more than just the criminal allegations. What's about to happen, that, from my point of view, is that based on what Barry has done, uh, not to condone his actions.
but the legal process by which the government used to entrap him with or used to uh, bring the, the criminal matter forth uh, should be scrutinized uh, with a great deal of scrutiny by all uh, citizens of the United so States because it's those same bases by which uh, they will uh, bring about laws that you as well as myself and others uh, will be judged by. And I don't want to be judged by what Barry has done, uh, especially with the presidents that have been set in the entire investigation as well as the money that has been spent. Every, every, every procedure that has been followed has been a new procedure. I'm an ex-policeman myself. And I know certain ramifications of dealing with informants and so forth, right. and in every aspect that the government <laughs> used, should have painted that case. Um, so I think I'll think the, I'll the overview or the more depth part of what's going on now is the, is that people should be saying to the government, we could have had very uh, legally and legitimately. And I can't get up. <laughs> All right, now, you know. I think, who is that, Rashida Moore? Yeah. I think they should be scrutinized oh, with a great on, deal Gilbert, of don't scrutiny. Do that. <laughs> don't do that. That guy was absolutely right. But they should scrutinize there with some scrutiny. Huh? What did he say? Oh, uh, yeah, like he didn't understand. No, I want you to tell me. <laughs> Bells was in here screaming, what's so he, funny about that? So no, really, what is so funny about that? This is you. This is it. He's right. Well, then they asked Effie Barry what she thought. Yeah. <laughs> and she said this. He certainly has. And then they don't think about his wife. They don't think about his kid. That, that thing that they had supposed to be in a trial with his wife, he, and everything that's going on. All right, you got that, sir. <laughs> now, it's actually Mrs. Photos. His son, <laughs> he, and everything I think the government is lousy, and this whole thing they have and stink. And if I was on a jury, I'd find him not guilty for the reason of what they pulling. His bad partners, his wife, ain't interested in all that. They got, they got the man. That was hey, it. it's a oh, helicopter. <laughs> Let me go! Stop it. Stop it. When you get up there and you put it involve his wife, you involve his kids. It's bad. Wait! What's that? What's that airplane attacking me for? Oh, Cause what, what did his wife do? Going to something and then else. if he's such it's a great an lover, aircraft. he better talk to the rest of these crack women and let him tell them how is this man getting all this nature. Hey, what are you, you a crack him, woman? Whoa! Problem on TV, the man can't do nothing. But man, bird, baby, he is a lover. Maybe they better, better take his blood and send it out to the rest of them. Ah, what is it, Mark? What does it say? What is he writing? What does it say? You're fired. Turkey straw? No, Chrissy Hines. <laughs> what about Turkey it? straw. Turkey straw. Oh, oh turkey the... straw is with us. What's turkey well, straw? Yes. No, no. <laughs> what? Turkey, he said turkey Chrissy straw. Right from the pretenders is out there. Turkey straw. He gives here. me a note that says turkey oh, straw. That's him. That's his right. Turkey I straw. I didn't send any note. I don't know what's going on. I want to bring special guest turkey guest. straw is with us. What did you say? I want to bring you a special guest. Please do. Bring her in. I would love that. That would be very nice. And it'll be a big surprise now when she gets in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's not coming in? Why? Huh? She just said yes. She just, she just said no. She doesn't do live radio. Who? Who here? doesn't do live radio? Why is she here? Chrissy Hines? Chrissy Hines? Oh, oh, oh. She doesn't do live radio? So don't do live radio. What does she want from me? Everybody that works with the this isn't so live. <laughs> what is she? What, what is she? A big star? I understand that. Let's tape her out in the hallway and then we'll play it back I a minute mean, later. That way she can have Send control John. over the Send John in here. <laughs> What do you mean she doesn't do live radio? I have Damn no that. idea. Oh, you do you understand everything, Bell? I thought Chrissy is like I think Chrissy's like real political and Well, she's a vegetarian who's very vehemently against the eating of meat. I say eat some meat and get it right. Hey, eat some meat, honey. Oh. <laughs> what? What happened was Mark went up to Chrissy and asked her to do it. So of course, you know, the celebrity always says yes to everything, and right. her people came scurrying her over, people. freaking out. Oh, her people oh. freaked out. Well, you know, that's what they're there for, to say no. She's not To say no, like no. she might actually get some publicity yeah, if she, she came on the show. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Don't come on the she show. Yeah, she'll have a, she won't have a good time. She's not laughs. interested in fun. It's not her fault. Chrissy, you won't like Howard Stern. the people Stern. around her. Chrissy, you won't, you won't be able to handle Howard Stern. Let's, He's a real animal. Let's confront her staff when we get off the air. I don't Tell her I don't eat meat, and I'd like to talk to her about it. Hey, I eat meat. Whoa! <laughs> like, hey, you tell her, no way she can sell out Club Benet without me. Oh, my God. Whoa! Oh. Anyway, get over to Hackensack Ford Mazda. That's yeah. Andy Photos' place. Okay, great. 
Call them at 201-487-6700 or stop by Hackensack Ford Mazda at 320 River Street in Hackensack. Uh -huh. Gary, okay. tell Chrissy to come in here and don't listen come to her people. On. Tell her to come tell, in. Tell her the Bells is in here. Tell her the Bells is in here. Sing Gilbert with a microphone to get Chrissy. Sing Gilbert with a microphone to get Chrissy. Our, our roving reporter. Yes. Roving reporter Gilbert got this. Just say, hey, Bab. Hey, Bab. Take a look at Bab. Hey, Bab. Hey, Bab. Hey, Bab. So, Gil, where are you going to be next week? Um, uh, July 16th, 17th, 18th at the Caroline's Daring Dinner Theater in Daring, Connecticut on the 23rd. Oh, I can't take it. I'm trying to get something line. going with these guys, but no, I give I up. No, it's out, out of control. Hey, Gilbert, from now on, you gotta, you got to come in with nobody here. It's too... You guys are... What? Where, where are you going to be tomorrow? It's uh, impossible to have a conversation with him. I got a couple of facts last time. How annoying is Gilbert? That's oh, what, really? <laughs> it's from David Letterman, but... <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> no, no, because he's like too political. He's like, uh, he supports the Reagan administration. <laughs> It's this whole kind of yuppie Reagan mentality that the David Letterman show has. Chrissy Hind is of the Pretenders. It's a rock group. And, uh... Special. 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 I'm special. She's so special she can't do her radio. She's a great talent. She was going to come in here and... It's not uh, her fault. And her people, which is uh, the record company. Can we talk to the people? Yeah, well, after the show, let's confront yeah, let's, them Let's all. talk to the record. Give me a microphone. I'll go out and talk to them. Punch their faces in. I'd like to find out why it is... They if feel they freak that out. every time I my name is mentioned. Give me that microphone. Why do you? Give me that microphone. I'm not working on your microphone, but I thought I just heard Chrissy Hart walking out. Hold on. Good. Let uh, her walk out. Tell her to walk out. Like there's something wrong with me. Bring somebody to us. Uh, by the way, I'm going to be in a new movie as long as we're plugging. Go ahead. Mark Farrelland. Moon Over Miami with Cindy Lauper and David Keith. Whoa. Is it any good? Yeah, it's very good. Very good. Really good. What is it? Tell us what happened on mic. She left? Why? All I heard as I was walking in was the voice of Chrissy Hine going, Goodbye, everybody. Why? Uh, because they're ang I guess she doesn't like the way you're talking about her. Cause it sound like everyone I mean, talk about her. I said, why is it her Nobody, people? Nobody, they brought up her name to us. We didn't even know she was here. You know, you try to be nice to people. I hope she eats a cow. <laughs> you hope she hits a cow? How's, her, how's she treating her husband, Jim Kerr of Simple Minds? How's she treating him? What, are they still married? No. Did she really walk out because of what we were doing? I think, oh, she I walked out because of what? Wasn't I saying I understand her? She hasn't had a hit in right, five Robin? years. Robin? Yes, you were being very understanding. She better she better learn how to kiss ass a little bit if ah. she wants to sell some records. <laughs> Stop being so full of herself. Oh, that's too bad. Well, there goes an interview. Hey, you ask five people who she is, they don't even know. I love these rock stars with attitudes. Yeah. Yeah, what happened to rock and roll in sort of this renegade attitude? No, everybody's, there isn't any such Everybody's thing. sensitive now. They're all Luca and uh, Susan Vega. <laughs> my name is Luca. My name is Luca. I fell out of a second store window. <laughs> all right, honey, sing about something I I'm like. I'm going to make money off child abuse. My name <laughs> is Luca. Right. Yeah, Donate right. your funds to You know, they say at her concerts it's kind of weird because the only song that people really know is the Luca song, so it's strange to see people sitting around singing and swaying and clapping and yeah. their hands to a child song. abuse song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's right. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're sensitive on it. <laughs> <laughs> they all get excited about the child abuse. Yeah, you tell Chrissy Hine that from the Pretenders, she's pretending people still know who she is. Ah. What is she, a uh, homo? <laughs> hey, pretend on this for a while. Oh. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Listen, me, all, right, all right, all right. Obviously, she is a woman who doesn't like me. Now with a full report. Oh. <laughs> oh. What happened, Mark? Uh -oh. Oh, here we go. Mark. Here we go. Here we go. Now. What is it, Mark? What is the problem? Let me hear her problem. She she didn't have a problem. Let's start with that. I don't have a problem. Yeah, she lives in England. Ouch. Okay? Let me give you the whole Bells story. lives in France. So what? As, straight as I can. She yeah. lives in England. And I saw Chrissy's underpants. Thank ah. you. <laughs> right. Story from a couple of weeks ago. I had asked the record company if Chrissy could come. And she lives in England, Rob. Long walk home, huh? <laughs> Chrissy well, it's a good thing she show. started now. Right. And the record company said, we hadn't asked her. Her management had said no. When she comes up, you can ask her. But in the meantime, let's just schedule an interview with Flo and Eddie. We'll do that one anyway. When she comes up, you can ask her to be on the show. So she comes up. Right. Said, Chrissy, would you like to be on the Howard Stern show? And she says, okay. And she says, it's live. And I said, yeah. She said, well, I usually don't do live radio, but it's okay. I'll do it. Right. So I'm about to walk in. I come in, da-da-da, go back outside, 
and the management's screaming at me, we don't want to be how on the show. How does management manifest itself? One person? Well, the management has decided Who's that... Management? Who is management? management has decided... What do you mean management? One, one guy? One woman. One woman. One uptight one little... One woman and one woman from a record company. Oh, Two, people. Yeah, Two people who have nothing going on in their lives, except to walk around I, people I who are know. talented. I just want to tell the yeah, story. Go ahead. Has decided all right, that all right, just tell me the story. They don't, they, <laughs> yeah. they don't want her on the show. And uh, she said, I'm sorry, I... I don't know who Howard Stern is. I you told oh, me has the best person ratings person? in America. Chrissy doesn't. Yeah. It's fine if she lives in England. I said, well, whether she go live in England, honey. So keep I, listening to those uptight, non rock and roll types. Corporate anyway, types. at that point, I went back out and she said, all right, if you really want me to go on, I will go on. Oh, here. very nice. I like her. You should. Then she what was very nice then about what? all this. Then the management again insisted, we don't really want to doing live radio. She might say something. Yeah, she might say something, uh, what, that they don't approve of? I believe she has a couple of lawsuits right now that are... So probably, what? So let her talk I'm about saying, it. look, it's, she should know what to say and what hey, were those to say. Two no stodgy, were those two anything? stodgy old broads who were advising her holding hands at the time? <laughs> no. Uh -huh. oh, I, oh, oh, and I want to be on record as I'm, I'm not putting down these people. Otherwise, I think they all got into a whole Good fight mark. here. But right. anyway... Go, go bully the I turtles. Got, I got completely... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got completely cursed out and really. Who cursed, cursed you? Out. Who cursed you? Yeah. She did. Chrissy? Absolutely. Why? Saying that it was my fault, my problem. You didn't tell me that this was going to be live, and you didn't tell. And there he is. He's calling me names on the air right now before I even walk in. I didn't I call her a name. He said something about her, which she got upset about. What did I say? It's a joke. About it's this called a so sense of humor. Wouldn't walk in. But she, as I said, she doesn't know you. She hasn't said she hasn't heard you on the radio. What is it that people can't handle? What is it in life that people are so fragile? They can't I, walk into I, a room and have a conversation I with someone. I don't understand, but anyway, I just got uh, blasted and so did 25 other people in the elevator. Right on. I, I wish you had a tape recorder. I tried to re-insist that she come up, that nothing bad was going to happen, that she would have a good time. She didn't want to hear it. Cursed me again another ten times. She cursed you. What did she say? Tell me what she said. I can't say it on the It's a couple of C words. She called you the C for a girl? Or yes, for the girl. Really? Yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> wow. That's excellent. That's smart. You know, here's people who start their careers in bar rooms. Oh, Richard. These are people who start their careers in bar rooms with people tossing beer bottles. You know, it's sort of like a rock and roll attitude. Then all of a sudden they have a hit record, and everyone gets sensitive. Sensitive. Where the sensitivity comes from, I don't know. They're sensitive to this issue, that issue, the other issue. They can't even talk. After a while, they can't even talk live. they got to be on tape. You know, well, she, she has she gotten into trouble. McDonald's was after her and all kinds of people. She had big uh, legal problems. What's wrong with McDonald's? Well, so I guess her management decided that she can't be trusted live. Because well, she's going to lose all her money. I'll but tell that's you something. not our you know, fault. She has a terrific record, and I'm sorry that she... How do I know? It's it's bring me the record. Let me hear it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you what's terrific. She's a great talent. What am I, a homo? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Stop that, Gilbert. Stop it. Stop oh. it. Stop it, Gilbert. Stop it. Lone Star tomorrow night. Stop it, Gilbert. Caroline, 16, 17. All right, stop it. And poor Caroline. Oh, <laughs> moon over Miami. <laughs> Problem child. Who would you rather Ritter. see, Cindy Lauper? You know, Mark, you're a funny guy. Why is it that someone can curse you out, and then you sit there and go, oh, they have a great record, I liked it. Why would you do that? Explain it to me. Do you mind lending me the mic? Say if, if she has a problem, she has a problem. It's still a good record. I wanted to just say that if she came up, you talk about her record. Of course. Oh, see, he's still worried is, about the so. Flo and Eddie interview. Oh, oh I'm I see. I'm still disappointed that, uh, that she decided to act that way without... Uh, First really of all, who even cares story? what she has to say, quite frankly? It sounds to me like she'd be a big bar. Every time you bring something up, she would, she'd get uptight. Yeah, you'd be worrying about every word you said. Actually, yeah. I think she wasn't uptight, and she would have been real interested. She would have been very much... She would have had a lot of fun. She would have walked out of here saying, you know, for once I had a good time. I absolutely believe that. Let me hear this record that you think so good, Mark. What is it? Oh, it's just funny because what uh, the guy who's you know one of the guys that works here that does like handiwork around here he's putting in a light bulb on a ladder yeah and I just looked and out the window he was laughing his butt off and he, he just came and told me all the words she called Mark really <laughs> That's a lot. real dirty yeah, can you yeah. sort of describe him the c word um, for a know, woman the Yiddish word that ends in u c k can you say that word a schmuck yeah, yeah you can schmuck. say that. Um, the c word uh, Mike the intern said she curmudgeon heard, she called him a curmudgeon she heard she heard all she heard was. You piece of ass, you idiot! And Mark, all I heard was Mark going, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." 
That's pretty funny. All right, let me play um, Chrissy's new album. Let's hear what well, we what, think. Of what's it. the song that they are uh, All right. featuring? It's called. Um, you schmuck. <laughs> you schmuck. Yeah. You are a C you word. C-word. <laughs> it's called you Never Do a That. You are a C word. This is Never Do That. Never ask her to appear on Radio Live. Long story short. Sure. <laughs> How they were going to say this was a good record? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> let's give her. Let's give her a fair chance. Let's give her a fair chance. <laughs> okay. Okay. Before okay. we before we knock this, let's give her a fair that was chance. So funny. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Hi. Sounds like every other song. Well, right? the June, I've got fifty-two dollars. I went downtown. I spent fifty-one. <laughs> now I got a dollar left. Don't oh, you lend me 51. Let me say. Oh, let's hear it, let's hear it. You're not giving it a fair day. Hey, hey, hey. 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 It's all right. It's okay. I'm uh-huh. bad. Baruch, I thought I know I... I'll tell you one thing I agree with Chrissy on. Mark is a C word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with her on that, Robin. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking about how her problem... Her whole day is ruined. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that great? <laughs> Once again, Howard, you succeeded. <laughs> Thank you, Satan. Oh, oh Satan! Oh Satan! By the way, could I just have another hundred dollars? <laughs> Why it's it's <laughs> yeah. Rochester, it's me. Hey, Beelzebub, what's <laughs> new? It's Beelzebub. You did real good with that Chrissy Hine, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. That's amazing. Thank you, Mr. Guccione. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever see all the beautiful girls in penthouse? <laughs> That's the way he talks. Yeah. Well, anyway. All right. All right. Now, Gilbert, you're going to be appearing at my favorite nightclub. Yes. Uh, what are the dates of your appearance? Now, hold on. Wait, I before we do plugs, I, I will do the plugs. No, uh, before, we, before we do the plugs. Oh, no, you're not. Because Chrissy Hind is right. You guys are immature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. She would have had a good time on here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is everyone, why are rock stars up? I can understand like politicians or something, but why are rock stars so uptight? No, don't you notice that it's gotten that way in rock and roll? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I don't know if this is the right show for Elton. I don't know if yeah, Bill Elton. can uh, do this. Yeah. Elton's dressed up as, a, as a, <laughs> one of those fruit hats. What do you call those hats? The big <laughs> giant fruit Carmen Miranda, Miranda. Carmen Carmen Miranda, Miranda hats, and he's worried about how his image is. Yeah, right. He's a bunny. <laughs> yeah, he's dressed up as a bunny. No, no, no. Who? What are you, a bunny? Who? Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to be so careful uh, around those rock stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bell's getting upset. I am Why? upset. Because, like because of the dice reference? Yeah. Oh, are you Stop upset? <laughs> I'm going to choke you, Gilbert. Hey, what's the matter? Bell's that you're upset. Oh. Well, let's get on to something else, right. Bell's. How does he feel about this whole censorship issue with two live crew? Nah. Think they're a bunch of homos. Oh! I asked I think Belzer. it's racist. I think it's racist. I figured you would. See, 400 years ago, when blacks first yeah. came to this country, they separated oh, the, the people that spoke the same oh. language, and they were yeah, the po- oh. this power structure was threatened by anybody that spoke the same language. Rap is an alternative language to the subculture of America, and so it's threatening the, the white power structure, and that's why they're trying to suppress black music, because black music... No wonder his wife moved to uh, France. She couldn't take this every yeah, right. day. All right, so go ahead. He won't do this long distance. This two-life crew thing is pretty despicable, but it what are you going to do? Well, um... What's next? Ahmed Erdogan has not been scared off by all of this. He has just, uh... Of course not. ...signed a partnership deal with Two Live Crew and uh, Luke Records, which is the uh, record company owned by Two Live Crew. Dig it. Dig it, man. Tell you what is despicable. What? What? 
His name, Ahmed Ertadin. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, he might be from a different country. Oh, like, <laughs> like we should tolerate that. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Xenophobia. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, excuse Sorry, me. Sorry, there's other countries on this earth. Excuse me, Rob. Can I have a dictionary? I'm talking to bells. Ah. You know? He just like, called you a name. You don't know whether it was a compliment or an insult. I'll consider that a compliment. Xenophobic. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, anyway, their new um, song. The Gilbert new and I are doing a new album called Two Live Jew. <laughs> Oh, right. He's going to, you know, Band in the USA, their new album. Yeah. Got, the title yeah. song is going to be based on the uh, Bruce Springsteen record, Born in the USA. It contains no obscenities, but it does talk a great deal about the First Amendment. Oh, do, right. they, do they uh, pay Bruce his uh, ASCAP fee for appropriating his lyrics? <laughs> Lawyer Bells. Thank you. Whoa. Well, I don't know. I'll have to check with them. All right. Bells, we'll call his attorney. <laughs> don't call my attorney. <laughs> Prince Charles has a broken arm. Ouch. He was playing polo. Well, he's a royal pain in the ass anyway. Ah! <laughs> and then, uh... What, is he a polo? Shut up, Gilbert. <laughs> Shut up. I'm sick of that. He was going for a goal. You know, he's riding around on that horse. He's going for a goal, and he, got, he lost his balance or something. Yeah. Fell off the horse. But unlike the reports, I guess what people he were doing? hearing... Oh, no. <laughs> I like the reports people were hearing yesterday. The horse what? did not fall on him. The horse just walked away. Oh, really? But no, he, he invited the horse on him. <laughs> Hey, he's a horse's ass. No, he did break his he's arm in two arm. places, was taken to a local hospital. Yeah. Where he had to stay overnight, had some late night surgery. He is not expected to, uh... To live. No, he's not expected... He's not expected to masturbate for six weeks. You know, ladies and gentlemen... to stay longer than today. No, who cares? So anyway, just <laughs> wanted to let you know that the princess was yeah, in London. Great. She wasn't yeah, with him. Great. Anything about a disarmament treaty in there? <laughs> well, he's disarmed now, but you know, ladies and gentlemen... Talk about arms control. I guess the prince has got some. But you know, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> also in the news today. Yes. A man who's been making threats against Debbie Gibson has done it again. He was arrested yesterday. That's Gilbert. Yeah. It was Hoot Gibson. But you know, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. You know that. Singer from Long Island, Debbie. Yeah. It's the second time in less than a year that this guy, Richard Cecil Pelfrey, has a been uh, accused of threatening to kill Debbie Gibson. He's got bats in the Pelfrey, that guy. But you know, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was my air name. He was arrested on September 14th at his home after mailing a letter to Gibson's father Smart on Long guy. Island. Smart guy. Mails a letter from his house. But, you know, right, yeah. Threatening to uh, Return kill address. her Return during address. a performance in Akron, Ohio. That hurt. Hmm. Well, that's what you get for working in Akron. But, you know, but, you know I, what do they do with these people? He pleaded guilty to this. Yeah. And he was released <laughs> after being sentenced. Right. Yeah. So he could do it again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do it again. That's exactly what I he did. I think if you commit a crime in America, you should go to jail for life. Thank you. No matter what it is, like you, I agree bells. with if you, 100%. Litter, suppose you litter. Light. Belzer, if somebody you sends a Light. letter to your wife. Easy, bit. Say, or, or someone <laughs> in your you family. Like, call my, you know, fam intimate family up. To because you, because you have to personalize in, this. Insensitive example. If somebody of, called up your wife and yeah. said that he was stalking her and was going to take care of her. Yeah, he'd be staying on the wall in an hour. All right, so then there you go. So why do you object when we call for this mental case to be put into jail for a couple of years I at least? I just said he should get life with no problem. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know who Gilbert stalks? Who? Tracy Chapman. Yeah. <laughs> he writes her letters. Very who's, who's Tracy Hello Chapman? There. Who's Tracy Chapman? <laughs> I am writing a letter. Oh, one Stop that. I don't like that. Like that. I don't that. like that, Gilbert. You know it. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on yeah, while those two lose racial their minds. Stereotype yeah. Chuck Berry. Is having some problems. What's Apparently, that? there was a raid at his home. Ouch! Over the weekend, the yeah. creator of the dating game, Robin. No, no, no. And they no, thought no. it was Marion Barry and uh, Chuck Berry, the mayor of Washington. Yeah. Way no. down in Louisiana, down in they, New Orleans. Yeah. Well, I guess this is another <laughs> episode of targeting. They did uh, raid his home. Yeah. Right. They took firearms. So what? Porno material. So what? Bags that me up. of green <laughs> plant material and aluminum foil containing a hard dark brown material. Hey, Sugar. what is that? A Sugar. hard dark brown material? Sugar. Oh. Shut up, the hot dog. They are doing tests. Lab tests on this material right now to determine what it is, but the 63 year old Barry says yeah. none of that stuff belongs to him, and he's never done cocaine. Yay! Any pictures of posing with a naked white woman? So what? Lots of videotapes. Didn't you ever pose with a naked white woman, uh, Gilbert? Yes. Thank you. All right, here's Chuck Barry. Listen carefully to the evidence before you go. Yeah, right. I've read the. Um... Uh, affidavit. Affidavit. I have never used cocaine. Right. Is that Chuck? Yep. No, he says Bill that, Cosby. Uh, Do you believe him? 
Do I believe him? Yeah. Hit me up. <laughs> Stop it, Gilbert. Stop it. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, uh, How would I know Robert. if Chuck Berry he does cocaine? He says that the substances I mean. belong to a woman friend. He's not taking responsibility. Leona Helmsley. But I've always felt <laughs> that a person can be... I don't believe him. She's in what? I don't believe him. Yesterday... Yes. Elton John was interviewed on the BBC. Yeah. I guess there's a disc jockey over there named Steve Wright was talking to Elton John. And what did he say? And some oh, other. Yeah, I'd like to kiss. If a tree, <laughs> if a tree falls in the woods, Elton. <laughs> <laughs> then Madonna's name came up during the conversation, and apparently Elton John is not a Madonna fan uh, either. He's nobody's oh, fan. Oh, good. All right. Here we go. He doesn't like anyone. Have you seen Dick Tracy yet? <laughs> no. No? I haven't seen Dick, let alone the I sent you that one, didn't I? <laughs> Madonna is. Oh, you, you. Yeah, thank you. Is she not your favorite artist? No, really no. Okay, moving on quickly then. <laughs> um, all right, now, that's no substance. What is he going around slamming people for? Oh, hey, he's buddy, a, slamming people? He goes around... Stop it, Gilbert, now. I'm getting sick and tired of He goes around raving about the village people, though. He thinks they're good. <laughs> he loves the village people. Yeah, the village people he likes. Oh, yeah, creative. I don't know what you have to do to get on uh, Elton John's good list. Yes. Give him a dollar. Oh. <laughs> All right, Gilbert, that's it. I've had it with you. That's just like beating up Gilbert over in the corner. Let's come down to that. It's hysterical. Ow. Oh, ow. That's how they keep him in line on the Letterman show. <laughs> Let's also say congratulations to Jill Brooke, yeah. the uh, Jill radio Brooke. reporter oh, Brooke, for the, the Post. The right. No, she's the radio reporter for the Post. She is engaged. Uh, who'd she engage? <laughs> I know Andrew it's Coiner. Know him very well. Hey, I feel bad for him. <laughs> Why do you feel bad for him? Because Jill is like real irrational. And then, She's cute and everything, but she would be impossible to be married to. Really? You think so? I give the marriage six months. <laughs> what is she irrational about? Her thought process is ah, irrational. I think that she wants to be married so bad she'll straighten herself out. Really? Yeah. You can hurt I saw her on the McLaughlin report one night, and she was just like off the wall. <laughs> like, like combative and... Remember when we had that lunch at the New York Post? Yes, yes. She's a like combative and irrational. Confrontational. Yeah, confrontational is the best word to describe her. Yeah. But over nothing. Over you. But I believe that she will be the most docile. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why did she have a yes. chair and a whip her husband? <laughs> and uh, agreeable wife. Really? Yes, just because she wants to be in that state right, of matrimony. Really? really? Yeah, I, I have a feeling about that. You know her that well? I've talked to her a few times, and she's one of those women who really, you know, beat the drum of uh, singlehood. Right. Oh, I love being single. Right. I have all these men, but I don't want to be bothered. Yeah, but and you knew she was... immediately she's engaged. All right. You know, yeah, yeah. What is he? Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ? Yeah. Mm. But anyway. Hey, don't slam somebody's <laughs> What is he? Jesus Christ? Hey, stop that now. There are people that worship Jesus. Oh, stop geez. that. And stop finally. That. <laughs> stop yeah. that, everybody. Didi to something. Finally. Yes. Didi. No. I'm gone in here today. Stop Tula. Didi. Yeah, what? The first transsexual. Ouch. Playboy Tula. centerfold. She's not going to be a Playboy centerfold. What is this? Who, Richard Simmons? She's begging to be in Playboy because she wants to show people how feminine she is because they won't change her passport. Yeah, let's British see that passport. surgery where they converted your thing into a thing. <laughs> and I want to see that close up. <laughs> well, they won't. Uh, her passport still says she's male. Well, and she wants to do a Playboy centerfold to prove that she's you definitely she, a woman. No, she's, she's a man. She were arrested, she's a man with a mutilated if penis. If she were arrested, she'd be thrown in jail. And in a male, prison. men's prison, and, and that's what she's afraid of. Yeah. And, right. a, and a surgical vaginal passage. Can you describe this slowly? Gilbert's <laughs> <laughs> getting excited. But you know, this All right, and listen. Playboy has said, well, they've only gotten to the talking stage. They've received her pictures, and there has been some contact. But she would definitely not be a centerfold. They'd oh. do a pictorial no, maybe. They would just do a little spread on her, pardon the expression, but you know. I would like to see that. So anyway, she's going to be on Donahue today talking about this whole problem. She's she flash? Her marriage was considered illegal because, of course, she'd be married to another man. Mm -hmm. She's I'm a man. Your man. So, Gilbert's married to another man. she got all kinds yeah, of problems. Yeah, but what's wrong with that? But she was a Bond girl. She was uh, good enough to fool James Bond. Yeah, she's, she's, she's beautiful. I mean, I he's beautiful. I know. It. She's beautiful. <laughs> He. So he chose to be a woman. He respect her yeah, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there were a woman dressed in that body. Gender Only in the 90s do you hear, he chose to be a woman. And, and, uh, and people don't laugh. Well, okay. He's a homo. Oh! Right. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass up and down the street, Gilbert. <laughs> i got to 
watch them leave today. You have to see what's going on in the corner. <laughs> Bells grabs Gilbert hand, Gilbert's hand and uh -huh. starts bending his wrist back to break his wrist. Oh, you're kidding. And, like, controls him that way. Oh, you know can control him. That's incredible. He learned that from Alan Fick. <laughs> Bells, if you want I'm to control Gilbert, Gilbert's, Gilbert's hand. Just break, yeah. break Gilbert's hand <laughs> like this. Just break his head. Break break let his head. let uh, Richard keep doing that to you because you can sue him. Like yeah. <laughs> like you can get that French house. Well, you know, yeah. because it's this kind of violence that's from the Reagan administration. <laughs> right. Hulk like Hogan. Hulk um, Hogan. World Wrestling Federation. Um, Andrew Dice Clay. The Ayatollah. All happened during the Reagan that's administration. Right. Reagan. That's right. Well, that's the way it goes. Well, I'm through. I believe Barbara Bush's eyes. Hey, what out. is it? A bush? Oh! <laughs> uh, no, Gilbert, that's it. I've had it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can't make fun of Barbara Bush. Yeah. Okay. No. That's, that's it. That bug-eyed millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> like I hear she sleeps with a bar over her. Why, doctor, it's, it's a bug-eyed millionaire. <laughs> she's, she's not a bug. <laughs> All right, Gilbert. All right, Gilbert, come down. Come down. Sorry. So you're going to come to the Lone Star tomorrow night, Yeah, hour? I will be there. Great. Caroline 16th, 17th, and 18th. I'll be there as well. And also, Theater, next Darian Tuesday, I'll be at Truckles Comedy Club with Jackie. I want to go watch him, too. <laughs> in Mineola on Long Island. Hey, go try to stump the joke, man. Yeah. Thursday, July 12th, at Joker's Comedy Club in Yorktown Heights, New York. And don't miss Josie saying tonight's the big show at Woody's. His band is going to be discovered tonight. He has a lot of record companies Who's coming that? down. Who's that? Stuttering John has a band, and he's going to be at Woody's he's tonight. He's a nice kid. He's a nice kid, and uh, go down and see his band. Support them. Because Please. he might get a record company, and I can finally get rid of him. Dig it. All right, now listen, tomorrow night, that's fr I mean, Wait, that's no, tonight, June 29th, at the Lone Hall. Star with uh, Richard Belzer. Oh, he's going to... What? What is this? At the Lone Star with Richard Belzer this Saturday night, June 30th. Who? John. John. Stuttering. John. That's right. He's going to be playing at your show. That's right. How the hell did that happen? What do you mean? What's wrong with that? Uh-oh. Yay, Johnny! You going to be there tonight? Tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night. All right. With the Bells. Tell me about your band. It's a real, real good hard rock band. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Gilbert? Tonight it's at Woody's. <laughs> what is that? Tonight it's at Woody's and tomorrow night with, with hey, the Hey, Woody, you got a Woody? <laughs> tomorrow night. Would you let him finish talking in the middle of a good stutter? <laughs> no, I was say, you He's know, actually hitting yeah. Gilbert. <laughs> no, I was just saying, tonight I'm playing at, at uh, Woody's in the Village, and then tomorrow night I'm playing with, with the Bells at Lone Star. All right. You, uh, you jam set? Yeah, I'll jam it. Right. Yeah, that's what he needs. <laughs> but, but are you uh, excited about this? And the, what record companies will be there tonight? There'll be quite a few, but I don't know. Quite a few, I don't know that one. Tonight or tomorrow night? Uh, tonight, there'll be uh, a yeah, lot of record you know, companies. You want to do it in front of me? <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, like, I'm going to get a record deal. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the record company and, comes down and gives Bells the record oh, company. Oh, would that kill them the record deal? What? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that would be great. By the way, Gilbert will be appearing with 1910 Fruit Gum Company. Oh. <laughs> I always like that. Thing. Anyway, she's got the engineer tonight and tomorrow night at Jib Lane's Rock and Bowl in Flushing. And if you need a mobile DJ, Hello call there, Jib Lane. 718 <laughs> Bag Jib 54. Lane, I cleaned the refrigerator and the floor for you, uh, Mr. Gilbert, Jib Lane. I, that's it. That's it, Gilbert. I want a divorce. <laughs> He's taking I'll back you, his friendship. I'll see you tomorrow night, Howard, at the lunch I will time. also prove Caroline something. Caroline 16, 17. I will prove something. What will you prove? And Darian did a theater in Darian, Connecticut, the 23rd. Oh. I got a headache from Gilbert. Come, child. John All right. Here. Yes, what are you going to prove? Oh. I have a... Um, a large penis. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll play the Chrissy Hind record. Who no. cares? No. Why not? No, Why not? Play it backwards and see what it really says. Save the cows. Save the cows. Save the cows. Save the cows. Let's Don't see. Don't burn down the trees. Don't burn down the trees. <laughs> yeah. Play it backwards. Something will happen. Yeah. Save the spot at Elton John. Satan is God. Satan is God. Something like that. I'm sure. You're going to play it backwards? No. Oh. I'm just going to play it's the a CD. CD. We'll listen to it. We'll see what we think of it. And, uh, hey, I'm a bigger person than she is. She hey. don't want to come on. Hey, hey, let I'm it a go. bigger person than she is. Right. Who cares? All right. Everything's you know, fucking fucking. Okay. Hey, you know, don't do Chico, because Chico is like part of the Reagan administration. <laughs> it's very it's very easy to do Chico dice marks, but you know. <laughs> okay. All right, that's 1040 it. 1040, and uh, Tony Pig is next. 20 in a row coming up. You Here's all you. have a good weekend. Here's Chrissy Hunt. Let her Bye. go sit in our hotel room and be Bye, funny. America. And worry about what the world thinks of her. You know this is officially the 4th of July weekend? Thank you, Robin. Let me say.
Còn mọi người, và đây bên em về một chiếc Hyundai Accent Xe sản xuất 2018 Số tự động Và rất tiếc thì con xe này thì cũng Bị đâm vào hết phần cốp rồi Nói chung là cốp thì phải nằm lại hết Đấy Tuy nhiên là trước khi báo giá thì em sẽ quay tổng thể chiếc xe Xe phiên bản màu đen Và Xe này là một chiếc dòng một phân khúc hạng B cạnh tranh trực tiếp với Vios hoặc là City tuy nhiên là Nasser